Well, we're trudging along in some woods right now. The river's right down there, and the river's really blown out, which, I mean, that's what happens when you get a lot of snow and rain over the winter and spring. But it's just crazy because it's almost July, and usually the river is not this high, but like I've said, We've had such a delayed summer that everything's just pushed back probably about a month or so. Like this June doesn't even feel like June. It feels like late April, early May. So the river is right down here, but we're hiking over to a little spot and we're gonna see if we can catch some rainbow trout and smallmouth, whatever it wants to bite in the river. That's Pat, by the way. He's my ultimate hand loader. So if you look down there, this one, oh, this one back over here. It looks like you could hike down there. Yeah, and then just hike over, huh? Yeah, worst case, we, do we have so many, we have a lot of places that we can possibly cover. Imagine during like the when the water's lower. Oh, you can go out to that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Can we slayed the brook trout on uh, Memorial Day weekend. Did you? Oh. oh, nice. I need to order some new boots too. These ones are leaking. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, these ones are no more good. Sure. This entire wow. back eddy right here, you see all this? Yeah, dude, this is going to be nice. All right. There's, there's got to be something in here. Yeah, let's hit it. There's even a nice little shelf down here for us to stand on. Don't really know what the fish are biting, so we're just going to start off with something that's pretty fast moving. Just a Black Panther Martin. This is size 4. Not exactly sure what weight it is, but one of the smaller ones. So... We're going to start fast, that way we can cover water faster, and if the fish aren't liking this, then we'll resort to something smaller. Let's hope I don't fall off though. Water is very clear. First things first, check the drag. Looks fine. Feels fine. And away we go. Oh, fish on. First cast magic. Yeah. Yep. It's a trout. Tiny trout. What? Tiny trout. Tiny? That's about the one I caught. Okay. Panther Martin. First cast magic. <laughs> All right, I don't want to touch him yet. Okay, so I'm going to put him in the water. They like this little back eddy right here. All right. So that's the first trout. Um, I wet my hands because I'm gonna release this guy. Ah, calm down, bud. Calm down. Dude, you're not helping yourself. There we go. First rainbow trout, maybe like a eight, nine inch trout. Just gonna let him go. Oh, there he goes. So whenever you release trout, if you plan to release trout, you always wanna wet your hands. He's right there, you guys see him? He's just chilling right there. If you release trout, always wet your hands because dry hands will wipe off that coating on their body and they're just a lot less immune to bacteria. There we go. You got one? Trout. Small one? About the same as yours. I mean, they're not terribly small. So, they'd be okay for a fan. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's what I'm using. Oh, got one. <laughs> There's a bunch of these ones, man. There's another one. 
They're stacked. There's a lot of them in here. All right, put them in the water. If he comes off, he can come off. But I'm just gonna wet my hands again. There's another one, just a tiny one, hatchery, because they clipped off this adipose fin right here. But let him go. If you're gonna release trout, you typically don't want to play around with them too much so just quickly unhook them and just let them go we got the skunk off that's two fish in about five casts but we know there's bigger we're gonna aim for at least a 14 inch plus trout oh i'm snagged no I let it sink too long. Dang it. Oh, that's a fish. I thought I was snagged. This is a fish. It's it's a big fish. Oh my god. I thought I legit thought I thought I was snagged too. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't. I, oh, this is. Oh, he. Oh, he came off. Oh, no. Wait. I caught somebody's line. Wait. What? I should have stayed over there. This bush kind of messed me up. Oh, no. I caught somebody's line, though. Dude, that was probably one of those big landlocks. Oh, my goodness. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Look at your hooks. Dude. I cast it and it was just like straight stuck and I'm like, what happened? Dude, I bet it was a landlocked king. Oh my goodness. That was a big fish. Dude. I'm gonna pull this line out of the water though. Some of these lines in the water. Oh my goodness. So if you guys look way out in the middle of the river that's where all the water a lot of the water is getting pushed but because there's a little rock ledge right here right in front of us on this little 100 yard stretch is just what is called like a back eddy where the water calms down and it provides a lot calmer water so a lot of fish will use this back eddy or this calm water area to just stay stationary so they're not using energy to stay in the main current caught a couple of nice trout pads caught some I'm just so bummed that I didn't get to see that big fish. Dang it. Losing him, that's okay. I just wanted to see what it was. Because in this river, it could have been a huge trout. could have been a salmon. could have been a sucker fish. Giant smallmouth. Oh, fish on. Decent. Oh, he came off. I didn't get the... I didn't do a super hard hook set on them because i'll still talking to you guys but in this river you never know what you're gonna catch okay anyway i'm gonna stop talking i gotta focus on fishing oh fish on right there this is a rainbow oh this one's feels way nicer fights like a rainbow could be a smallie a lot of head shakes Ah, hey, there's a species I wasn't even talking about, pike minnow. This right here is a pike minnow. That's actually a nice size pike minnow. Depending on where you fish in the state, there's actually different bodies of water that uh, have bounties on these things, but there's no bounty here. Pike minnow. They fight awesome. Let them go. Oops. Seriously? You guys can't just sit still? Oh, I saw him come out and take it. Oh. No, came off. We've only been here for like 20 minutes maybe. And this is actually 
already some pretty crazy action so i can only imagine what else is in store and so far i've just been throwing the spinner i haven't even thrown the ned rig i haven't even thrown a, a float or a bobber so who knows today's got that epic day feeling to it you know Wow, it's a lot more treacherous than I thought here. Yeah. Hopefully there's no snakes. Are you... Are you kidding me? I just hooked my little camera muff fish around this little back eddy right here fast current all these rocks right here are blocking the current so it's a calm water area right here I caught that little trout right here and it's so crazy because that little back eddy is like preventing my spinner from just going downstream which is kind of weird but well, it makes sense i'm just not used to it not getting pushed down down current Well, I'm surprised. No smallmouth yet. A lot of these. Oh, I just had a swiper. Oh, 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 he's chasing it. Oh my gosh. He swiped at it like four different times. I don't know if you guys see how epic these trout are just being. But another nice trout. Let him go. Man, there's a lot of these uh, hatchery trout right here, which the hatcheries are what we want because here you have to release the wild trout. It's just that these ones are a little too small. So they're definitely from this year's release from the hatchery. They're just not as big as we want though. So we're just gonna keep trying because what else are you gonna do? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, something's big. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, come on, keep going. How about I loosen my drag? That almost feels like it's long out. I don't know what it is. No visual yet, but he's right here. Trout? Oh, it's falling drag. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a beautiful rainbow. Yes, this is what we're after right here. Oh my goodness, that's what we're after right there. Yes. So I gotta be, oh my goodness. I gotta be very careful because there's all these rocks right here and it can cut my line. I only have four pound test. That's a hatchery. Yes, sir. That, oh no he popped off right at this cove man oh that hurts that hurts he was he was way too energetic like i couldn't control him because my rod was too flimsy i know we need a net that was a nice fish that was like a 17 inch rainbow it was a hatchery too Dang. Uh, That's number two giant for you today. Gone. Yeah. At least this one we saw him, so we could say it was a trout. Yeah. All right, so where we're fishing, we can use two poles. So while I work either my Ned Rig or my Panther Martin from here on out, I'm just going to throw in my second rod, which is just a float to a little crappie jig. And I understand that we are not necessarily targeting crappie but this will catch more than just crappie so
gonna try and hit the current right there and I'm just gonna let my bobber flow with the current because right in between the current and this back eddy right here that's where we've seen the most fish jumping what I know my I just saw my bobber drain. Probably just water. Next time, I'm gonna make sure I bring night crawlers. And a net. Yeah, and a net. gonna wait and see if this is a fish nope not a fish we're just gonna switch over to maybe nothing because uh I don't have what I was looking for. Oh yeah, I do. It's right here. We're gonna switch over to a heavier Panther Martin because the water's too fast for my little Panther Martin. So we're gonna switch over and hopefully this bigger one does a little bit better in the water. Yep, this heavier Panther Martin is already doing a lot better in this current. I would cast out there, but I'm not using the proper equipment to handle that type of current because the bigger trout are certainly jumping out in that faster current, but just they didn't come prepared with the right equipment. But take note on this trip, next time I come back, I'll be prepared. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish on. Uh, a fish off. I can hardly feel the difference between these small trout biting and the actual current itself, which is why I'm not sending the hook properly. But all right, guys, we're getting schooled by these little trout. Oh, fish on. Hit her right at the surface. You know, the more I look at these guys, they're actually not that bad of a size. And honestly, the fishing's kind of slow. So these guys right here, I think we'll call them good. This guy choked it, so. I'm getting hungry, guys. So we're gonna take this guy as our sacrifice. There's a lot of these little hatchery guys in here. So lay them right there for now. Let's get back to work. Right along this seam right here, there's just a lot of them stacked in here. So I'm just gonna continue working this seam. I do need to wash my hands. Make sure I don't fall in head first. Oh, fish on? Yeah, fish on again. That's another decent one. Well, another 10 inch rainbow. He's a little smaller, but he's fat. So I think you guys get the point here. I'm a little desperate for some trout meat. I haven't had trout in a while. We're just gonna stack up. We have a five fish limit, so we got two here. Two right there. They're both out. It's getting hot and the fishing really has died down. I think the early morning bite was where it was at, but I was two hours late today, but Pat came in clutch with a nice like 14 inch rainbow caught him like right off the shore came out of the rocks and he just one motion 
flipped them onto the rock. So there's four fingerlings plus the big one. And uh, we also released a bunch, lost a lot, but that's gonna do it. Next time we come back here, we'll be better prepared for fishing equipment. All right, we are back. Keep these guys Dude, we could actually in our make a little little pool. Little pool here. That's what we used to do. Kids when I was a kid camping. It is toasty, but it's good to get out while it's just getting hotter. So we're gonna drive over to Pat's house and uh, cook these bad boys up. Made it to Pat's house and he's got the pit boss going. These are the pellets in here. That's gonna give good flavor to the fish. And we're just letting it get up to the temperature we want. Right there. And then we have this table here because we're gonna use the table to season the fish and so I can do this. Last time when we smoked Pat's fish back during the winter, we fillet the trout, but this time we're just going to uh, smoke them whole because these fish are pretty small and Pat actually already gutted them out back at the river. So we got some small ones and got the big one there. They're all good to go. That's the magic right there. So this is Pat's stuff. What, what we got going on? The Tony, I don't know, Chasheries or whatever, Creole. Creole. Then the Butter Steak Kinders. House, pepper, and then Himalayan pink salt. This is Pat's secret. Yep. See how it does. Well, we, I think we already know how it does. One. Oh, dude, that looks... It's, it's so like crazy. It's so crazy so, how the difference between these guys yeah. and that guy are just like yeah. completely just different. Just been in the river longer. Yeah. Eating just, crawdads, yeah, more natural better. food. Yeah. I got to show this thing to him. This one's my dad's. Idaho buck. Idaho buck. Just a solid four point. I'm just doing a year amount on it for him. Nice. But look at the curve. He's got a really like... Just, they don't make them like that here. No, they don't. <laughs> just a... It's a, just a good buck, man. Mass all the way through. I'd be tickled like that one in Washington. Oh, two. <laughs> I just shoulder mounted it. He's like, that's too small to shoulder mount. I was like, for Idaho standards, yeah. Yeah. Let the smoke start. guys white meat big guy red meat smells amazing oh that looks like salmon that yeah. legit looks like salmon and it's hot it's hot <laughs> so we just got done uh pat also threw some tots in the air fryer so we got that going but we've got white meat red meat yeah. so we're gonna give it a sh shot and see if it actually even makes a big difference okay, that was good. so this is the Red meat, this is from the bigger trout. Tastes like good old trout to me. Now we're gonna try white meat from the smaller trout. White meat's fishier. Got a fishier flavor to me. But it's not bad. I definitely prefer the pink meat. Mm -hmm. But the white White's meat- White's not bad. No, they're both good. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Okay. The seasoning is fire. The yeah. smokiness is fire. It says. It's just the the natural flavor of the meat is what we're judging it's like, here. It's the more fat. There's more fat in the, the pink meat. This one right here. Like salmon. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's probably why it's juicier too. Yep. Yeah, it's not dried out. Yeah, if anything, um, I think the white meat just tastes a little bit more, a, more, a, more blandish. Calm. Yeah, like the fishier taste but it's good it's good i'm not complaining it's almost about like when it. people say they compare like different big game meats as one's gamier than the other yeah that's, how that's I all it is it. so the verdict is uh 
If it's a trout, doesn't matter if it's white meat or pink meat, they're still delicious. But if I had to really choose, pink meat, I prefer that over uh, the white meat. But like I said, that's like splitting hairs.